picture brings back an awful lot of memories, doesn't it? Do you realize that uh, this year is going to be our 15th parade? Doesn't seem possible, does it? Well, I'm here in my home in my basic lounging attire. I'm afraid you've interrupted my dinner, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to continue. Well, I think about the major rats. Hey, yeah. They seem to have a certain sample of fear which cuts across all social and economic barriers. I mean, it's almost as though I have something to say to every mentality from a human being down to a rock. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they don't go for the cheap gag, you know? I mean, there's some sophistication involved. And I, I relate to this, you know? But more importantly than that, I think, the inner meaning of the works that they perform really stay with you like a, like a good meal. Hi. I hope you enjoyed my little tribute to the Mayhorets. It's a venerable part of a venerable institution. And it's, it was difficult in putting together a tribute like that because the particular people involved, it's really so difficult to find anything positive to say. And yet I struggled with it, and I grappled with it, and over 15 years of efforts, I was able to come up with about three minutes of noteworthy uh, events. You know, as I mentioned before, it's our 15th year, and I think that's worthy of some sort of celebration. So I'd like to propose a toast to you, to the Mayhorats, for all your fine efforts over the years, disgusting as they have been. One might say it's our quincennial year. One might say that, and one would be wrong, because there is no such word. I don't know what the actual word would be, but I believe it's important to bullshit when you don't know. It's gotten to me through my life, and I know it's gotten you through yours. You know, I went back and <clears throat> going over the old tapes and films and pictures, and I made a list of all the Mayhorettes throughout history who have appeared with the fabulous All-America Marching Review Corps. And uh, beginning with Fred Becker, uh, I found that we had no less than 20 Mayhorettes over the years, uh, a formidable number. And uh, I made a little list. I thought I'd just read them to you. What the hell? <laughs> you got nowhere to go, right? OK. It's like a booze place. You've probably seen the two movies in town, and you've hit the two bars, and you fucked three men who aren't married or gay. So <laughs> here goes. <clears throat> the first year, we had uh, Susan Moore and Carolyn Kuntnake, Kuntnake, uh, Kunt Kanegi. Uh, Let's get that a little confused. These are uh, these are noteworthy in themselves. And Sue Moore here's a person who has a doctorate in physics and a, a minor in tap, something you don't see every day. And of course, Kunt Nagy, um, one of the few people in history to ever use a bottle of Ripple as a disposable douche. Something unusual. Buffal, what can I say? The only person I know who can be both brilliantly eloquent and incoherent at the same time. In the early years, we had uh, Andrea Stevens. You may remember Andrea Stevens. She was a hussy before some of you even knew where to put it. Lynn Kearney, what can I say? If a heart operation won't stop her from marching, nothing will, and she'll be with us. Rose Quinn, remember Rose? Lynn Simon, going back a few years, huh, girls? Nancy Didrickson, Debbie Magnuson, Linda Parks, Susan Didrickson, Jan Novotny, Jean Alden, Lori Rashbaum, Marjorie Lucchetti, Ann Polachek, and last but certainly not least, Patty Spade Lyman. Now, with a group like that, 
it's hard to go wrong. Ladies, over the years, your contribution has helped to make the corpse the disgusting artifact which it is in pop culture today. And I know that all of us boys just get a hard on looking at you performing up there. It's, it's all I can do to keep my drum centered. I'm looking forward to this year very expectantly and I hope that you're going to rise to the occasion once again. I don't know what you're going to do. I never do. But I'm quite sure that it will be obnoxious. So that's really all I have to say. I hope you've enjoyed the little bits that I've put together for you and I hope that you are going to put something together for me someday. Video is the way of the future, you know. Keep it in mind. So, ladies, thank you, and good night.